Hello everyone, and welcome back to Valve Feeds the City Construction Challenge Beast. I'm your host, Valdez. How you doing? Yeah, seeing as how we went to the nether last time, we can now fly around as our little bat more. But, you know, I'm not really doing that very much. I'm not, you know, really taking advantage of that. I got my hang glider getting around town, but, you know, it'll be nice for some later creative builds. But I'll get some other means of flight uh, eventually. But uh, with this challenge, you know, I won't really be able to do what I want, the modular power suits, uh, for a little bit. Oh, that's way too high. Chicken's way close. Look at that. So, what are we going to do today? Well, I've been doing a lot of work around town. Clean, cleaning up the market district, laying out plots for houses and other things I'm going to be doing. But this time I think we're going to focus and get the lumber mill done. I kind of made a, a list of the things I want to do first. Kind of in order, lumber mill, and work in the port, the market, and the minor lodge. Because I've kind of split the age up, you know, and things that would come, you know, earlier in time, I guess. And, like, the last thing I want to do is make the a machine workshop, you know, if that makes kind of sense. As I lead into the next stage where we do more machines. So I figured lumber mill would be one of the very first things done once you have iron, uh, saw blades, you know, to mass produce wood for all the rest of the buildings that are coming up. I'm kind of finalizing a color scheme for the rest of the city, so everything else will kind of be that way, and I may eventually convert all this other original stuff. You know, as I've been doing, demolishing buildings and rebuilding them bigger and better, it's kind of the plan. But today we're going to do this lumber mill, it's going to go right here in this spot where the river kind of bends around, and there's a very established look for what a lumber mill kind of looks like in these fantasy settings kind of driven by Skyrim I think on this side since the hills too high we can't do it over here hills too high but then boom hill drops down I can build a building right here and that's kind of what I'm gonna do it might be tucked into this hill a little bit I might carve it away just a tad but I'm gonna get working and show you guys kind of the first steps of this I'm not gonna make this too super creative like I said I'm gonna follow the established build in the uh, Inspiration is the Skyrim Lumber Mill from Riverwood. Alright, here you go. So I have come in and filled in the base with cobble. It's basically just right up on to the edge. So there's a couple of levels here, but then you know the ground's higher over here, so I just raise it up so it's a little bit above the ground. Got our let's get away from the noise there. Got our oak pillars in the corners as always. And I've begun the pattern for the water wheel here using stairs. So you can see stairs in this kind of shape to give it that that look of a water wheel where it's got all the little holes. And doing them in an opposite pattern. See these ones are up, these ones are upside down, face up, upside down. And I'll reverse this pattern underwater. Which is the hard part, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> but you can see I got uh, cobblestone pillars. So these look just like cobblestone walls up straight up and down. But you can't take cobblestone walls and put them horizontally. But with forged micro blocks, now that I have a mix saws, uh, I've chopped down some cobblestone and make them the same shape, you can make those horizontal. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. Now I need to fill in this area in between with something. It'll probably be wood, thinking maybe fences or solid blocks and fences, something like that. Not exactly sure yet. I'll figure that out as I keep going. But uh, next we'll kind of finish the wheel, lay on a simple roof here, and then it's like decoration time. This is a pretty, pretty simple, straightforward build. This is the foundation. Alright, here's a nice little progress update. You can see kind of what the wheel looks like fully completed there. Uh, on the inside, I just laid stairs on the inside to make it look more rounded. Oh, animals. So many. 
But I still gotta finish the roof over on this side. Uh, it's 13 by 9 instead of 8, so I could have it odd width. So I would have a single log in the middle there for the roof, the roof log, similar to that. I like that style, and it, it makes a lot of sense here. But I added the two more pillars in the middle, and then cross beams, as you can see, and the roof goes along just like this. So on the outside of that one, and then here, and then on top, and just like so. You can see what it looks like finished over here. I could add upside down stairs all along here to make it look more flush, but I probably won't be doing that yet. Um, let's see, so we also got the wheel here. I've got some iron bars that I've used with chisel. See the regular bars, there's all kinds of cool bar designs. I'm going with this menacing one. This will simulate our cutting mechanism. So let's see, space one there. Probably not in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let's leave two, like there. Nice. I like that. And I'll get some rails or something. We'll have logs laid up. Say like so. We'll definitely pile up some logs as well. Just something like this. And I don't know, maybe I'll change some other cobble here to something else to make it look like. Hmm, I'm not sure. Might just stay as simple as this for now. Alright, let me uh, finish off the roof here, add a little bit more decoration, call this simple little thing done. There we go everybody, take a look. As you come through the area where all the logs are, we've got some stacked up here, ready to be milled. Got our miller up here, Marcus. He's actually a quote-unquote dwarf NPC, but a lot of the dwarf guys, you know, look like regular dudes, just different textures, so. Yeah, he shouldn't be going all the way over there. I'll have to reduce his wander. Uh, I'll do that later. So, I kind of exposed this uh, log piece here, the middle part that's supposed to be turning, which you can kind of see this piece. I don't know. Pretty simple build, but I like it. Kind of one of those necessary things. Got our dude up here. Things are good. I oh, do like every now and then having a nice simple build. So what's next? Well, I want to knock off things that'll rapidly add to our town, you know, ex expanding things. So we're going to be working a lot on the market soon and the harbor. I want to add these piers, get that stuff going, start making buildings down here in the southern area. But I have been doing some updates to the market. So let's go take a quick peek at that. I'm going to build another house here. And I've started making some of these stone lamps. I like those. So here's our market area from before. I've added some stone slabs around the fountain, breaking up the cobble, gravel, stone groundwork. And we've populated these guys' stands. This is the, the food stand. Got your meats and your fruits and your cakes from the baker. Eggs, other stuff over there. This one here is the, the wooden merchant. All the cool different things made out of wood you can buy and use for around the town. And this guy over here doesn't want to get on camera. It's the armor shop. There we go. Right now it's mostly leather armor. I need to make more iron armor and stick that up here. Then eventually we'll have like diamond armor or gold armor or something like that. And kind of expanded the walkway around here because we're going to build a, the inn and tavern right here, the sage. Do more stalls. 
We'll do that in the next couple episodes. Spiffy up this place. Build a big shop here. I'm thinking this little extension part that juts out. I might just make another stall. And make the building just this back area. Yeah. But next time we might actually do the port. I want to get going on that as well. I'm not quite sure yet. Put another building plot over here. And this one looks like a plot as well. I've extended the roads so over here to the portal. Laid out where I think I might have my workshop. So yeah, that's about all the new stuff I've laid out. And then this back area here I've laid out with all the building plots I believe I'll be making. Those could be the more uh, medium wealth area, so there'll be bigger buildings. Build a couple over here. And I may eventually start converting the original villager buildings as time goes on. But this age we're going to start building our uh, color pattern for the rest of the time. And I'm going to be doing kind of a medieval pattern that I haven't done in the past. But it's kind of the evolution of all of these other things. Starting with the blacksmith. And kind of mixed between the blacksmith and the bakery design but with using those colors yeah yeah and i think i'm gonna do the white wool thing like a lot of people do for minecraft medieval but we'll, we'll start those with the medium wealth buildings but i think that's gonna do it for me this time i've been blabbing enough made a nice simple build done a lot of little things around town and with these new area of effect tools I'm really able to get a lot done, the hammer and the lumber axe, it's, it's, it's really making playing a lot more enjoyable. I'm not grinding away gathering materials so much, I'm actually able to just do a little bit of that and build and explore, so things are good, I'll keep going with the challenge, don't worry about that, but that'll have to be next time. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all later.